The subway. Iba, does the entire track run underground? No. The track leading northward from Bloom Park eventually rises to ground level. At a railroad crossing? Correct. Then the tracks must cross the surface street at some point. Correct. Iba, do me a favor. Can you see if any cars were driving on that surface street last night? Searching. Hey, you've been quiet for a long time. Are you okay? I'm just thinking. I've got something. I picked up a single vehicle traversing that street last night. A black SUV. I ran the plate through the vehicle registration database to find the owner. Who was it? Shoko Nadami's ex-husband and Mizuki's father, Renju Okiura. So let me get this straight. You think that Daddy drove his car on the tracks through the tunnel stopped at the closed down station and carried mom's body to the park? I can't prove it was Renju. There's a chance someone else was driving the car. Yeah. Yeah. But, in any case, I know that the suspect must have used the subway tracks. That explains why there were no cars parked near the scene. Using that subway station, you could take the body right to the merry-go-round without being caught on camera. Daddy didn't do it. I am not so certain. Either way, I have to talk to Renju. And you can help me find him. I think about a week ago, when I went to hang out at Lemnus Gate. Did you notice anything different about him? Nothing really. He was the same as usual. And he didn't come to see you in the hospital, did he? No. Not even for his own daughter. That is very unusual. Mizuki, Renju sent you that Nile message, didn't he? What? I got this buddy of mine. Real bad personality, but real good with technology. I got some help from them. Bad personality? It was a message sent at 8.05 last night. Does this sound familiar? Mizuki, Daddy got caught up in something serious. Please come to Bloom Park's merry-go-round right away. Daddy needs your help. Please do as I say. Yeah, that was it. It was from Daddy's phone. But I didn't want to say anything because that would make Daddy a suspect, so... So you kept quiet. Yeah. My dad's never said anything like that to me, ever. 
thought he was counting on me? I had to go. But you invited Ota along. Bloom Park is in the middle of the Kawasaki district. There are a number of homeless individuals in a high crime right there. Mizuki must have been worried about going alone. I don't remember. It was a while ago. What about you? What about me? You tried calling him. I did. I called earlier, and I tried a few times last night. And he didn't pick up? No. But it couldn't be him. Why not? Daddy couldn't have sent the message. Someone else must have used his phone. And his car. Daddy wasn't driving the car either. Somebody else did it. The killer did it, not Daddy. The only evidence we have so far leads to one conclusion. The cell phone and the car were both operated by Renju Okiura. Date, incoming call from the boss. Connected. Hey, I just got the report from Iba. Renju is a suspect? He's definitely suspicious. I agree. I think he's our number one suspect. He's been acting strange since last night. He didn't come see Mizuki in the hospital, won't pick up his phone, and he vanishes after questioning. He doesn't have an alibi for the time of the murder, either. He doesn't? No, not one we can corroborate. Renju's house. Don't bother. I had local cops search the place. Didn't find anything. Where could he be? Shoko's time of death was estimated to be about 5 p.m. yesterday. Renju claims that he was at home alone at the time. But that means no one can back up his story. He didn't give us any new information. He didn't have much to say at all, really. So Renju was questioned at a local station? That's right. Then why didn't you keep him there? Protocol. Nothing we could do. He wasn't a suspect then, and we had nothing to charge him with. We couldn't hold him. Alright, boss. Let me know if you find something. You too. Keep me in the loop. Where the hell did Renju go? Uh, Sunpoke? What? Um, Sunpoke. Or something. Oh, Sunfish Pocket. Renju was telling me about that place. It's a maid cafe that he runs. I found it. Approximately 6.2 miles north-northeast. In Akihabara. Renju!
You look awful. Have you been sleeping any? My best friend was murdered, boss. I don't have it in me to sleep right now. You were the first on the scene, so you know this better than anyone, but... Renji was murdered. No way this was a suicide. And the fact that his left eye was removed tells me that this was the same killer as Shoko. The serial killer. The new Cyclops killer. What? That's the nickname that's been spreading around headquarters. New? Yes. Several years ago. Pewter. There is no point in hiding it from him. He would find out on his own eventually. It's all over the news. These murders have gone viral, so to speak. The killings from six years ago have continued. The Cyclops killer is back. Six years ago? Is that what you were talking about, boss? <sighs> Fine. I suppose you deserve to know. We have a name for it down at HQ. The original Cyclops serial killings. To distinguish it from this new one. It was six years ago in October. Four bodies were found in the mountains of Akikawa Valley. But the decomposition of the corpses were all at different stages. They were each killed sometime during May to September of that year. But they did have two things in common. They were all young women. And... Each corpse was missing their right eyeball. Pulled out posthumously. A few days after the corpses were discovered, the killer sent a statement to the press. I killed them, and they are now my dear companions. Something like that. He signed the statement under the name Cyclops. Hence the name, the Cyclops Killer. The Cyclops is a mythological race of one-eyed giants. According to Greek myth, they are the children of Uranus, god of the sky, and Gaia, goddess of Earth. Cyclopes were known for their outstanding strength and smithing ability. So the letter to the press wasn't a fake? It was the real killer? Yes, it had to be. A picture of one of the victims right after she was killed was sent along with the letter. No, in six years we never got a single trace. So maybe Cyclops is responsible for these murders as well. No, that's impossible. Why? For one, the original Cyclops killer only killed women. Renju doesn't fit that profile. Second, all of the victims had their right eyes removed. But Shoko and Renju... ...were missing their left eye. The timing of the eye removal is also inconsistent. The original Cyclops killer removed the eyes after the victims were killed. But Shoko and Renju were both still alive. But even so, you can't say for sure this isn't our guy. Maybe they're just doing things a little differently now. Or do you have another reason? I'm sorry, Date. I can't say anymore. Bullshit, you can't. It's a national secret. How can it be a national secret? Dot. <laughs> please, forget about it. I told you already, you don't need to know anything about that case to investigate this one. The criminal for this case and the case six years ago are not the same. Iba, bring up all investigation records of the original Cyclops serial killings. I already had a look through the database while you were talking. Unfortunately, I found no relevant information. I also did not discover anything of note on the internet. Only amateur theories. All lacking credibility and evidence. Damn it. She's sleeping at the hospital. They're going to give her counseling after she wakes up. I see. 
her mother and her father. I hope she'll be okay. Of course not. I've still got a mountain of work piled up, answering to the higher-ups, the press. I'm just taking a little breather. Renju had his left eyeball removed. Right. Shoko too. So perhaps, Mr. Date, you are the killer. You're missing your left eye, so you steal them from others. I'm kidding. Only a joke. I'm too tired for your jokes right now, Peter. Hmm. Actually, you lost your eye six years ago, correct? Yes, but I don't remember anything from back then. I lost my eye and my memories. I was transplanted into your empty eye socket a year later. We have been together for more than five years. Two murders, one right after the other. How could I not be? Am I not allowed to be here? No, I didn't mean it like that. I was here first. I was just talking to the boss about Renju's murder. That's all we have for now. All right. Special Agent Date, we need you to continue your work. Right. I think I'll head back to where Renju was found, Sunfish Pocket. Date, you're exhausted. Why don't you get some sleep before you continue your investigation? I'm fine. Let's go, Iva. Understood. Date, the vehicle is accelerating 2% slower than usual. Did you put anything in the trunk? No. What about the back seat? Back seat? Mizuki! Hey, watch out! Ice forward, stupid! It wasn't locked, I just opened the door. I've been here for like 10 minutes. Why don't your doors have auto locks? I know you like old cars, but you gotta lock the doors. You should be a little more apologetic for someone who just got caught breaking into my car. Mizuki does raise a valid point. If you are not more serious about security, you should consider replacing the car altogether. You too? You were talking to yourself again. I heard you. It's creepy. You should cut that out. Mizuki is still unaware I exist? Yeah, I know there's no reason to hide it, since she already knows about this. It's just... hard to explain. I won't say anything yet. Understood. But I am ready to be introduced at any time. Just let me know when the time is right. It's not a proposal. No need to be so formal. Shit, I said that out loud. Date, I think you should go to the hospital. I ditched the hospital. They're probably freaking out over there right now. I'm taking you back. No, don't! Nothing will change if I stay at the hospital all day. You're going to investigate, right? Take me with you, I can help! How is a little runt like you gonna be any help? I'm Renju's daughter. Maybe I'll notice something you don't, something only his daughter would know. I don't know. 
My daddy was killed. I can't just stay at the hospital. <sighs> Fine. But don't say I never did anything for you. You're going to take me along? Just promise not to interfere with the investigation. Got it. No, it's more like I don't like sitting still and moping all day. I've grown out of my brooding, pretentious teenager phase. Odd thing for a preteen to say. Are you not aware of Mizuki's mental prowess? She is far more developed than her classmates. She is even reading psychology papers by Alfred Adler. Sounds pretentious to me. Hey, about Renju. Do you have anything to tell me? Anything at all that might help? Well, it's not about Daddy, but... I heard from Daddy that Mom had a secret. Shoko had a secret? Did you know that Mom was the representative of an investment company? Yeah, I did. That whole company was a big scam. A scam? Well, I don't know the details. They start up a company to get people to invest in it, then shut it down on purpose and keep the money. She got really rich like that. Shoko did this? Yep. By herself? No, dummy. Of course it was with other people. I saw gangsters there sometimes. If she ever got into trouble, she had them take care of it. I am scanning all known crime databases, but I cannot find any reports referencing this. They must have been extraordinarily careful. I'm not okay. So, you want to go back to the hospital? I'd be more than happy to drop you off. That's not what I meant. Why are you always so pushy, Date? I'm not pushy, I'm just worried. You've got a weird way of showing it. it. Doesn't look like you're worried. You're just weird. You've always got something smart to say, huh? You're just like Renju. Date. What about Daddy? Nothing. You have no tact, do you? This is why you're single and always will be. <laughs> That's where you're wrong, kiddo. I look like a single father when you're around. Chicks love it. Yeah, chicks love to see creepy old men hanging out with a sixth grader. Hey, what are you implying? Ooh, did I make you mad? Now I'm stuck in a car with an angry old creepy pervert. I am not an old creepy pervert. And even if you were my age, you're not my type. Ew, I don't want to know about your type. Hey, you started it. Stupid old man. Punk ass kid. Oh, uh, Detective Date. Good to see you, sir. And this is. Have you looked through the case file yet? Oh, oh, I am so sorry. She's the victim's. Yes, please let us through. Approximately 55 pounds each. No, we didn't find anything today. <sighs> no, not these past few days. I thought so. Once this is over, get some rest, all right? You too, Detective Date. What? I was asking for your name. My name is Kagami. Oh. 
Um, hmm. You were telling me earlier that you could spot things only a daughter would know. I know what I said. I'll tell you if I notice anything. Did you hear me? I said I'll tell you if I see anything. How could I forget? I'll never be able to get that image out of my head. Not until the day I die. I thought I already told you. Sitting around rotting away in the hospital would be worse. Still... I know what you're trying to say. For a little girl to find her dad like that and then want to go back to the scene? I think it's totally weird, right? In fairness, it is also weird for an adult policeman to acquiesce such a request from a child. But this is what I wanted. I didn't want to run away from it. I wanted to confront it. I didn't want... to be weak. corpse was strung up near this counter. The autopsy report indicates that the contents of the victim's intestines were excreted upon death. But no traces of that have been found in the area, nor on the corpse itself. This evidence makes it highly likely that Renju was killed somewhere else. Hmm. It must have been considerably difficult to carry more than 150 pounds. What do you mean? Renju weighed approximately 158 pounds. I can estimate a person's weight by analyzing their bone structure, muscle, and fat. Iva, can you recall the time we discovered the corpse? Of course. The autopsy report discovered the presence of benzodiazepine. It is a common sedative. The dosage found in the victim's bloodstream was extremely high. It can be assumed that Renju's cognitive functions were heavily impaired before his death. This case bears similarity to Shoko's. The left eyeball was removed while the victim was still alive. Strangulation? Correct. The face shows clear signs of congestion, along with petechia around the face and throat. Both are clear evidence of asphyxiation. Any indication of the murder weapon? Most likely a twisted piece of cloth. The culprit approached Renju from behind and wrapped the cloth around his neck, choking him in an attempt to suffocate him. The specific cause of death is cerebral circulation failure due to vessel closure in the neck. Put more simply, the suspect strangled Renju to death from behind. Do we have an estimated TOD? Yesterday, around 8 p.m. So Renju was murdered about two hours before Mizuki and I found the body. The time of discovery was 10.20 p.m. You of course already know this, but you and Mizuki were the first to discover Renju's corpse. The body was hanged from the ceiling, similar to how a fish would be. A thick hook was embedded in the upper jaw, and the wires connecting to the hook were strung up on one of the ceiling beams. There was also a hook on the other end of each wire. The three beer kegs were attached to these hooks. We have found no fingerprints.
Nothing special. Iba, did you get anything from the surveillance camera? Unfortunately, no. All of the recordings from local surveillance equipment have been erased. What about backups? There are none. Nothing was uploaded to the cloud either. What are you staring at, creeper? I agree. Is that a spear? It more closely resembles a harpoon of sorts. I believe this is a trident. Any chance this was used in the murder? No. There are no traces of blood on the trident, and no indication that Renji was stabbed. Jeez, you're pushy. Pushy men are seen as desperate. This is why no one likes you. Besides, Date? Hmm? Never mind. Just do your investigation or whatever. What was she gonna say? Now is not the time to worry about such things. Hey, are you doing okay? Oh, sorry. Just staring. If you're having a hard time, you can tell me. I'm fine. It's not like the body is lying here. Are you really okay? Yeah, I am. Don't you have an investigation to do? Or are you stalling? Dragon's Palace Pasta, 1800 yen. 1800? Isn't that pretty average? This is average? of this oil drum is 200 liters. It weighs approximately 44 pounds when empty. Let me check inside. What? There's something inside. This is the oil drum. This is the kind of oil drum that has a lid, right? Correct. Let's open it. This is... This is the wristwatch Renju always wore. No doubt about it. But how did this get here?
Iba, can you check the operation records of this elevator? Searching. Found it. The elevator records are sent automatically to building management. According to the record from yesterday, from 6.30 p.m. until the body was found, this elevator stopped on the second floor only once. At 8.55 p.m. The weight of the car's cargo was approximately 310 pounds. I think we've checked everything we need to. I agree. We should compile our evidence and inferences. Mizuki, you ready to leave? What? But we aren't done investigating. What do you mean? There are still people I want to talk to. Well, there is one place. Have you heard of Golden Yokocho in the entertainment district? Daddy used to go to a place called Marvel a lot. Maybe they know something about him. Yeah, Daddy owned Lemniske and Iris works for them. She used to work here too. So she might know something. I'll call her. Have any idea where she might be? I don't know. Iris is into a lot of things. Yeah. Oda is in here all the time. He might know something. I'll call him. Ota's phone is broken. He dropped it in a puddle. Sounds like Ota. He's so clumsy. We'd have to talk to him in person. He's probably at Lemna Skater Matsushita Diner. Lemniscate, Matsushita Diner, and Marble. Let's head out. Okay. Welcome! You're Mizuki, right? Ota's friend? Yep. And you... Oh, I suppose I should introduce myself more formally. At least something a little more than flashing your badge. My name is Konami Date. Mr. Date, what can I help you with? out early this morning. I don't know where. I see. Sorry to be a bother, but when Ota comes back, can you tell him to contact me? Oh, well, sure. Thanks, ma'am. Okay, got it. Date, let's go somewhere else. Yeah, let's go. What? Hey there, handsome. Excuse me? I cannot even right now. Hold on, give me just one sec. Mizuki, do you know this guy? Yeah. Can you introduce me, please? She is surprisingly unprofessional for a receptionist. Come on, it's just not so bad. Could you contain yourself for five minutes, Date? Ota? Nah, I haven't seen him today. How is he? The receptionist knows Ota too? 
Ota happens to be the kind of otaku who actually has social skills. Those are the ones you have to watch out for. Huh? Nothing. Anyway, could you give me a call if Ota shows up? I have my number here. Yeah, I got his number. I got his number. Let us pray that the privilege will not be abused. Iris? You mean Asa? She's recording a podcast in the underground studio. Oh, that's why she didn't pick up the phone. If you need her right away, I can try contacting her. No, it's fine. This can wait until she's done. For sure. What? For sure? As in, I got you? I don't believe I've ever heard that sequence of sounds spoken out loud before. anything about that yet. The VP might take over, we might get absorbed by another office. Just when I got a job too. Man, what am I gonna do if this place closes up? So anyway, tell me Date, what kind of girls do you like? Because I'm the committed type, you know? Would you consider me a candidate? Hmm? Well, I, I, could go out sometime. Wow, dude. You disgust me. Oh, uh, my apologies. Never mind. Yeah, totally. You never think about, like, my boss getting murdered, you know? Like, what are even the chances? That's like, the odds of hitting the lotto. But it was kind of lucky, in a weird way. Some of my old friends hit me up asking about it, you know. Feels like we're old alumni or something. She certainly found the bright side of this situation. Mizuki, let's go. Staying here would be a waste. Yeah. Where should we go next? Is this it? Yeah. You know about this place? Yeah. This is where I met Renshu for the first time. Interesting. Didn't think this was your kind of spot. This place is special. You can find all sorts of shady characters here. It's the best place for gathering information about a case. So that's why. That is only a partial truth. Shut up. Huh? Let's head inside. Where is everyone? It's been like this for a while. Not many people come here anymore. Mama should be here soon, though. Okay. other news. At 6.10 p.m. yesterday, on the outer circle of the Capital City Highway in Minato District, Tokyo, a traffic collision occurred involving five cars and at least one truck. MPD has arrested the driver of the truck suspected to be the cause of the accident for negligence. The investigation is ongoing. It's okay. Is it? Yup. Do you have a lot of friends? Yeah, but I don't really like my elementary school friends. They're too immature. I have more fun with Iris and Ota. I don't know if they're too immature. You're just very mature for your age. 
You think so? The kids at school are so stupid, they gossip about who had their first kiss for days. I don't see why that's anyone's business. These grade schoolers move fast. Nah, not really. It's pretty normal nowadays. Well, you... You haven't kissed anyone yet, have you? No, I'm not interested in that. Oh, thank God. Did what? Sat at a table together like this. We haven't eaten dinner together in a while. After I finish working on this case, we should do it again. Why? Because of what happened to my mom and daddy? I don't need that. Date, this is where you need to take a stronger role as her guardian. Data suggests that children who eat alone are prone to mental imbalances and poor physical condition. The meals you prepare do have sufficient nutritional content. However, you need to make sure that Mizuki is eating all of it. Otherwise, your effort is wasted. I told you I don't want to. Why not? Because... Um, I don't like how you hold chopsticks. It makes me sick. Really now? People have always told me that I have good technique. Some even say it's beautiful. It's disgusting. Too clean. Besides, there's no point in eating together. Why is that? Because you don't talk when you're eating. I don't like sitting in silence. Well, we don't have to be quiet. It's fine, I don't like hearing you talk either. I believe she has entered her teenage rebellion phase a year early. This is going to be rough. Hey, Date. What did you and Daddy used to talk about when you were here? Huh. I don't remember a lot of it. I was usually drinking pretty hard. Don't worry. I have everything recorded. In fact, the conversation about you taking care of Mizuki took place here, at Marble. Really? The topic was brought up several times afterward, but the first time was here. Four years ago, after drinking enough liquid courage, Renju asked you to take care of Mizuki. At the time, Renju was recently divorced, buried in work at Lemniscate, and mentally unstable. It was a display of excellent judgment. It was a good thing that he managed to swallow his pride. You think so? Sometimes... I don't think it was the right move. You should have more confidence. I guarantee you that it was the best decision. Let's hope so. Date, honey! Long time no see. Hey, Mama. How have you been? Oh, tired and sore, but not in a fun way. <laughs> Watch the innuendo in front of the kid. Oh, who is this? Renju's daughter. Hi, nice to meet you. Oh, you're... I... Oh, it must have been hard. <laughs> I saw on the news. It's okay. Really. Oh, it must have been so hard. Stupid Ren. What was he thinking, leaving his little girl like this? Oh... <laughs> Hey, Mama. I wanted to ask you some questions about Renju. Oh. I guess crying isn't gonna solve the thing, is it? Go ahead. Ask away. I'll help any way I can. I haven't seen him for a while. I thought I was going to shrivel up and die of boredom without you boys around. Shrivel up? You look like a purple water balloon. <laughs> That's right. Care to give me a poke? I'll pass, thanks. Have you heard any rumors about Renju? Anything about grudges, disputes? Is it okay to talk in front of Mizuki? Yes, I want to be here. Trust me, you couldn't drag her away. 
If you say so. Apparently, Ren had some connections with the Kumakura gang. A gang? Yeah, real rough customers. This is their turf. So Daddy was involved with gangsters. Mizuki, that company Shoko was running, were they also tied to the Kumakuras? I don't know. Hmm. Not bad. Hey, that's good. I want you to keep this place open as long as you can. It makes me feel sad and old when a place I used to visit closes down. Well, then you should visit more often. I could hook you up in more ways than one. Just the one way is fine, thanks. some fish pocket they served alcohol, but I've never been to a bar like this. Well, I would hope not. You're in elementary school. Well, Daddy invited me along sometimes, but I was too shy to go. Good call. I was planning on going one day, when I was old enough to drink. I wanted to go to a bar with Daddy. I heard that shady characters hang out here. So who are you and how do you fit in? No one special. I'm just a facilitator. A facilitator? People who come in here tend to have very specific interests. I help accommodate. Oh, okay. Mama's like uh, an informant. That's right. And I won't charge you this time. Just promise to get the bastards who did this to Ren for me. I promise. Not really. Oh, don't worry, honey. I don't bite. I'm only aggressive when it comes to men 20 through mm, 65. That's a pretty wide range. Gotta widen my net for a catch like you, Date, honey. <laughs> I think I'll ignore that one. I think I'll ignore it as well. Well, there was the watch incident. I'm sure you remember that one. Watch incident? You don't remember? Your drunk ass spilled your beer on Ren's watch. Ren was furious, yelling about how this watch is more important than my life, or whatever. He blew up on you. That was the only time I've ever seen Ren that mad. That's why I remember it so well. Was it this watch? Yeah, that's it. Why do you have it? Was it at the scene? Ren was given that watch by his lover. It was an anniversary gift, I think. Lover? Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot Mizuki was here. No, it's fine. But of course, it wasn't an affair. This was all after he was divorced. Daddy had a new lover. bathroom yeah this place is small the bathrooms are outside take care Iba get boss on the line got it Mizuki is at a bar called Marble down in Golden Yokocho. Send someone over to pick her up. She's not at the hospital? Uh, yeah, she snuck out. I took her along while I was doing some work, but I can't take her any further. 
Understood. I'll send someone. Counting on you, boss. Are you going to leave Mizuki here? Yes. I can't take her into a Yakuza den. Who's this asshole? You made a big mistake coming here. Go home. All right. Bye then. Hey, Date. What? Ugh, I hate dealing with these chumps. Didn't you hear me? Do you want to die, old man? <laughs> you bastard! <laughs> Sorry for the late introduction. I'm with the MPD. A cop, huh? So, you want to explain what the fuck a cop is doing in my office? I think we should exchange names before exchanging expletives. Name's MoMA, the warhorse. Don't give a fuck what your name is. All right, MoMA. I have a few things I want to ask you. What do you know about the new Cyclops serial killings? Shoko Nadami and Renju Okiura had their left eye pulled out and were murdered. And I think you know something about it. Saw it on the news. But we had nothing to do with it. Even if we did, we wouldn't spill to no cops. <laughs> what? The chairman is right in front of you. What? I run the Kumakura gang. I'm Moma Kumakura. That can't be right. The chairman of the Kumakuras is Rohan. You aren't the chairman. Yo, asshole! You need a lesson in manners? Date, wait. I did some research and discovered that Rohan Kumakura died last year. He leapt to his death from the roof of a building. A suicide? But MoMA did not take over last year. MoMA took over six years ago. Six years ago? I told you, I got nothing to say. You deaf or something? Don't know nothing about her. I know her face and her name. It was on the news. Nothing else. Shoko was part of an investment fraud scheme, and I have it on good authority that a certain Yakuza gang was helping her. Wouldn't know nothing about that, cop. Date, a minute, please. What is it? Do you see the sofa in the reception area? There is an ashtray on top of the coffee table. What about it? It is peculiar. Thermal imaging reveals that they are both warm. The sofa and ashtray. Part of the cushion is still red. Just as I thought. Hey, Aiba, can you turn off the thermal vision? Sure. I see. The cigarette brand is Klein. Why is that relevant? Small details will come in useful later. Trust me. Hmm. What are you talking about? You're the first guest today, although you are an uninvited guest. Don't lie now. Someone was sitting on the sofa and smoking very recently. How do you know that? I just do. All right, I remember now. 
Just a bit ago, one of our guys was on the sofa. Are you talking about these guys right here? Yeah. Not possible. When I came in... You made a big mistake coming here. Go home. Who's this asshole? Neither of them was on the sofa. And neither of them was smoking. They left. Who left? Uh, an insurance salesman. Right before you came in. I don't think so. I didn't pass by anyone on my way here. And I happen to know this office only has one entrance and one exit. Which means, whoever it is, they're still in this office somewhere. Let me check the back. Why you want to do that? I just wanted to say hello to our guest. I'm telling you, you're the only one here. Oh, then you won't mind me checking. Just get out of here, cop. There must be someone they don't want us to see. Somewhere behind that wall. Just as I thought. This must be whoever was sitting on the sofa and smoking earlier. My evolver can shoot right through this wall. I should shoot him. Wait! Hmm. Is he not getting enough? What? Never mind. The person behind the wall is unarmed. I cannot approve the use of evolver in this situation. Damn it. Porno mag at your feet. What? Hey, did you just shoot at me? Iva, you saved me. Everything happened as I simulated it. So, where's this porno mag? You idiot. There is no adult magazine. However, I know that your reaction time is up to 3.6 times faster when you are excited. 
simply took advantage of that behavior. What the hell? You're a grown man. Aren't you too old to be playing with toys? Shit! Hey, coward! I see you! Show your face! I know you! Sejima, so, Congressman. What is this guy doing here? I went to work, then went home. So, you have no alibi? No, I always have my bodyguards near me. If you want to, you can ask them. Bodyguard testimony can be unreliable. There is a possibility that they would lie to protect Mr. Sejima. I agree. Can't trust that. I've had a relationship with the Kumakura since back when Rohan was running things. I had business nearby, so I stopped here for a visit. Whatever conspiracy theory you're imagining in your head, you can forget it. This is strictly business. Strictly business? A congressman meeting with Yakuza? How are you gonna spin that? It's true. I imagine my public image will be dragged through the mud. But we haven't done anything illegal. If you want to accuse me of such wrongdoing, then by all means. I just happen to think such gossip is better suited for tabloids. The president of Lemnisgate? We aren't friends. But I did meet him a few times through work. What work were you doing to meet up with the head of an entertainment company? It was just some party hosted by some company or other. It's not unusual. Events with those uptight stuffed shirts can be rather dull. So they have some young women from an entertainment office attend. Anyway, we only saw each other a few times. I don't even remember what we spoke about. Us Kumakuras are a branch of the Ujisaki family. The Ujisaki family runs a yearly golf tournament. Mandatory attendance. We were all at the tournament those days. We only got back this morning. You can ask the hotel. They'll tell you. Date, I did some research. The hotel's record of guests does list the Kumakura members. They were also seen on several surveillance cameras. It is not possible that any of the Kumakuras could have killed Shoko, including Moma. I heard that the former head of the Kumakuras committed suicide last year. Yeah, what's it to you? Nothing at all. I just want to talk about it. Rohan was my older brother. He was my big brother in this organization, and my blood brother. Six years ago, he, uh... He got sick in the head. He got sent to a special hospital. And naturally, because I'm his brother and next in line, I was the successor. That's all I'm gonna say. You wanna know more? Hire a private eye. I've been looking after that guy since high school. It was the usual stuff. I had him help me with a lot of work. But now, it's kind of the opposite, you know? We're getting work from him. Well, we were. Now that he's dead, though. What work did he have you do? Eh, the usual. If Talon at his office was causing trouble or something, 
You ever get into any disputes with Renju doing this work? No way. He paid good money. I've never even gotten into an argument with the guy. <sighs> well, I guess there's no point hiding it now. I lied earlier, when I said I didn't know her. I thought so. You and the Kumakuras were a part of the fraud scheme Shoka was organizing. Yep. Whenever any wise-ass investors gave her trouble, we handled it. Exactly as I suspected. Shoko was affiliated with the Kumakuras. The victim prior to Renju? I believe Moma introduced me to her. Introduced? We were just having drinks. Shoko stopped by to say hello. Right. We didn't talk about anything. They're trying to give me the runaround. Indeed. Date, I have determined that these individuals have nothing further to add. Even if they are involved, they will not volunteer any more information. We need solid evidence to move forward with the investigation. You're right. Date, a call from Lemniscate. Connected. Date? It's me! Um, you remember, like, how you said to call you if Ota came? Well, he's here now, so I guess I'm calling you. Got it. I'm on my way. Where are you going? That's none of your concern. MoMA, Congressman Sejima, I think I'm gonna call it a day. I'll come back soon. We'll swap drinking stories. You serious? Hmm. Let's go, Iva. Roger. This is all really suspicious. What is? Congressman Sejima and the Kumakuras. There's definitely something going on there. I agree. But I am not sure it is linked to the new Cyclops serial killings. We need to do further investigation. Ah! Impossible. How did a jellyfish get in here? So shiny, too. You utter idiot. It's me. Renju? Do I look like Renju? Mizuki? It's me. Boss? Date, seriously. Then, are you... Mom? Idiot. They must have increased your dosage too much. My dosage? Anyway, you're Iba, right? Why are you here, looking like that? I just thought I would project myself. You seem lonely. How are you doing this? I am overlaying the image your left eye processes with augmented reality. You can't see me through your right eye, only your left. You can't just pop into my eyeball without permission. You do realize I do that all the time, right? As I said earlier, I completely agree that they are suspicious. But there is nothing currently linking them to the case. That's true. We have no established motive. Victims were displayed, tied up on a horse, hung from the ceiling. And their left eyes taken out. We still don't know why. It is possible that Shoko and Renju were disloyal to Congressman Sejima and the Kumakuras. They could have been killed and displayed as a warning. That would fit the current evidence. Huh, maybe. But it doesn't feel right. I looked into
to that. Unfortunately, I did not find anything in our database that could connect the two. I see. However, I did discover some rumors on the internet. Most of them come across as gossip or conspiracy theories, but would you like to hear them regardless? Please. Mr. Sajima currently resides in Azabu. He lives in a mansion, a restored samurai castle. But 20 years ago, so Sajima lived elsewhere. In the Kawasaki district, to be exact. He lived there until he was 40 years old. The Sajima family owned a vast amount of real estate in the district. Adjusting for inflation, the land was valued above 30 billion yen. The Sajima family sold off its holdings. Six months later, the incident occurred. The explosion at the chemical plant. This caused Kabasaki to become a restricted area. And of course, land prices fell drastically to less than 1 30th their original value. Hmm. What are your thoughts? The timing is certainly suspicious. To sell that amount of land just six months before it happened. There is another interesting fact. After the accident, Sosajima purchased all of the land back for just 1 billion yen. So he's got 29 billion yen in his pocket and 1 billion yen of land. Correct. Despite the horrific accident, the Sajima family is no worse off. True. But I don't see the point of it. It's not like you got anything out of it. That would be true, but there is more to this story. There is another important fact. After the land prices in the Kabasaki region crashed... Ugh. We will have to continue this conversation later. I am receiving a call from headquarters. Is this Special Agent Dante from Abyss? My name is Akaska, from HQ. I'm investigating the Shoko Nadami case. There's something that you need to hear. What is it? We got a phone call earlier. From a prisoner at Fuchu Prison. A prisoner? We saved the call. I think you should give it a listen. Who is this? In here. I'm known as number 89. What is this call concerning? I know who killed Shoko Nadami. And if you let me out of here, I will tell you who it is. I suppose you might say I'm looking for a plea bargain. He will kill again, you know. And he'll take their eye while they're still alive. There will be more bodies. If you want to stop this serial killer, I suggest you take my offer. I'll be seeing you. This has to be a prank. That's what I thought, too. However, we got the call yesterday afternoon. Before Renju was killed. In other words... You're saying he predicted the second crime? Yeah, I think he did. That's why I thought I should contact you. Good idea. Thanks, Detective. Good luck. Do you think there's anything to this? I don't know. Oh, Date. What's wrong? You look like you have a lot on your mind. Yeah. I just found out online. A corpse at Bloom Park. That was Renju's ex-wife, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. So that was Mizuki's mom. Mizuki saw her own mom. And I just... I just left her. But I didn't know! I knew her as Shoko Nadami. Her last name is different. I didn't know that was Mizuki's mother. I want to apologize to her. I need to tell her that I'm sorry.
Mizuki didn't seem like she was angry with you. What? You met Mizuki? Oh, at the interrogation. That's right. He doesn't know I live with Mizuki. I have no reason to hide it, but it's sort of hard to explain. Yeah, I spoke to Mizuki at her, um, questioning earlier. You're sick, Date. What? Questioning? That sounds dirty. If I were writing a light novel, that's exactly how I would describe a sexy scene. What kind of novels are you writing, kid? Nowhere. Just doing my normal routine. I don't know your normal routine. I went to a doujin store to look at the new releases. Then I ate some ramen at Juro's, and then headed over to the PC cafe to browse threads. You know, normal. If that's normal, I haven't had a normal day in my life. I, I don't know anything. I've only seen Renju a couple of times. I didn't think it was possible to be this bad at lying. Though it is plainly obvious, I did a thermal check on Ota's body. This is his current body temperature. That's what I thought. Have you forgotten, Ota? You're my thrall. You don't want me to tell Iris your secret, do you? Huh? Well, wait, it's no big deal, I just... You better start talking. Okay. Last night, I was walking over to Sunfish Pocket, and I saw Renju come out of the building. Was he alone? Someone was with him. A man. No. A woman. Um... Okay, look. I can tell you're trying to protect her, but you have to help me out here. Was it Iris? N no it definitely for sure wasn't Tessa. Got it. So Renju was with Iris. Okay, fine. There's no point in hiding it, I guess. You're right. Renju came out of the building with Tessa. Tessa has nothing to do with this. She wouldn't murder anyone. She wouldn't hurt a fly. She's an idol. Idols don't kill people. You need to stop putting her on a pedestal. Tessa is a savior to me. The Tessa I know wouldn't hurt anyone. The first time I met her, I had a bad case of writer's block. And I saw all this awful negativity online and I lost sight of what I really wanted to write. It was the lowest point of my life. He is talking like a professional, though he hasn't published anything. Yeah. Then, by pure chance, I found a video of Tessa singing and dancing. And it made me realize something important. You don't have to care what people think, you know? If you do your best at what you believe in, your message will get through to people. That attitude is something all great creators need to have. After that, I became a huge ASET fan and got over my writer's block. And I know I'm not the only one Tessa has inspired. A lot of otaku like me say that Tessa is their savior. She cheers them up when they're down. So there's no way Tessa can be involved in murder. Absolutely impossible. But do you suspect her? I need to hear her side of the story. If I do, I might find out she's totally innocent. If you truly believe that she didn't do it, you should tell me everything you know. But... Do it for Iris. Around 6.15, I guess. Where did they go? I didn't see. They got into Renju's car and drove off. And what did you do? I went inside Sunfish Pocket. But I saw a sign that said the entire club was reserved. I figured I would just go home. What happened? Date. 
Iris, there's something I need to ask you. Come with me. Hmm? Iris, I'm going to ask you some questions. Please answer honestly. However, you do not have to say anything that might incriminate you. The right to remain silent? You're treating me like a criminal. Not exactly. I'm just looking for the truth, and I would appreciate your cooperation. What were you doing from 7 to 9 last night? I was at home the whole time. You're sure? Yes. Iva, thermograph. There is no noticeable rise in Iris's body temperature. She isn't lying. Not necessarily. We must consider the possibility that she is a natural liar. With that kind of confidence, her temperature wouldn't change. Correct. Renju's estimated time of death was 8 p.m. last night. If Iris's story is true, she couldn't have done it. There is another possibility. Even if Iris was at home, she could have killed Renju. You mean... I'll ask again. You are sure you were at home around 8 p.m. yesterday? Yes. Can I ask your mother about your alibi? You can, but there'd be no point. Why is that? My mom wasn't home. She came back home early this morning. This morning? Yeah. Where was she? I don't know. You don't know. Come to think of it, Iris's mom had connections to Renju too. Hitomi did mention that yesterday. Renju was my classmate at Eitoku High. We've known each other for 20 years now. However, we have nothing to link her to the case. But I am curious. What was Hitomi doing last night? Here's what Ota told me. Yesterday around 6.15 p.m., you and Renju came out of the Sunfish Pocket Building. Is that true? Yes. Mr. Okira called me and told me he wanted me to come to Sunfish Pocket, ASAP. Around what time was that? 5 p.m., I think. I got ready, then headed over there. I guess I got there about an hour later. Date, I checked her call history. At 4.58 p.m., there is a record of a call to Iris from Renju's phone. What were you doing with Renju? He asked me about a job. What kind of job? He rented out Sunfish Pocket for a party and he wanted me to MC. He said that it was an important party and that a lot of big shots were going to be there. But the girl he asked to do it originally got sick and couldn't come. But I turned him down. Why? Because I'm just an internet idol. I've never done any MCing before. Especially with important people being there. What did you do after you turned him down? I left with Mr. Okira. At 6.15pm. That must have been when Ota saw me. And after that? I asked Mr. Okira to take me home in his car. I got home at 7 p.m. I was home the rest of the night. What do you think, Iva? I cannot detect any contradictions. However, her story appears almost too organized. Human memory is ambiguous. Her use of exact times leads me to be suspicious. That's true. When did you find out Renju was killed? This morning, on the news. And you were with Renju last night? You didn't think to call the police and inform them of this? Oh, sorry. Is that something you're supposed to do? I had a podcast to record this morning, so... If I went to the police, I'd be late. And that would cause everyone a lot of trouble, you know? 
I heard you used to work at Sunfish Pocket. That's right. How long? A little over a year. Working there that long, you're probably pretty familiar with the equipment. Yeah, I guess. What about the surveillance camera? Do you know where those tapes were stored? What are you trying to say? Am I a suspect? It's not like that. It's fine, Date. It's true that I met with Mr. Okiura yesterday, but how do I put this? It's impossible that I'm the killer. Why? I'm a teenage girl. Mr. Okiura is a fully grown man. Oh, she's got a point. A girl like her could have stabbed, poisoned, or shot him dead, but strangling? No, it's still possible. You see? Wrenches estimated TOD. Numerous hemorrhages in the blood vessels of the throat and face indicate strangulation. The weapon used to commit the murder was some kind of twisted cloth. The criminal likely wrapped it around Renju's Renju then. The more precise cause of death is cerebral circulation failure due to vessel closure in the neck. In short, Renju was strangled from behind with some kind of cloth or rope. The autopsy discovered a high concentration. This drug is com- It is likely that Renju was in a state of compromised con- A heavy concentration of sedatives were discovered in Renju's body. Renju was practically in a coma before he died. He wouldn't have struggled. So, Iris could have strangled him. Wait a minute. Even if I was somehow able to kill him, the rest of it is impossible. The rest of it? Like hanging up his body? How do you know that? What do you mean? It's all over the news. That's true. Renju weighed about 160 pounds. Even if she used her entire body weight, I don't think she could have hauled him up. Right. It would be hard for her to do it with her strength alone. But with a little ingenuity, it could be done. Ingenuity? Sunfish Pocket is low. According to the records, the elevator stopped on the set at 8. The total weight detected. The oil drum inside the type that has a lid you can open. Empty. It weighs a prop. The autopsy determined that Renju vacated his bowels for muscle relaxation upon death. However, no trace of this. This means that it is highly likely Renju was killed elsewhere and moved to where- I don't think so, Date. This is irrelevant to the question of- It went like this. First, Renju was laid out on the counter. Next, the wire was thrown over the beam and connected to the hook in his jaw. Then all you need to do is put the three beer kegs on the counter. You think a teenage girl could have done that? I'm sure it was hard. The kegs weighed 55 pounds each. 
That's not impossible, even for a teenage girl. I guess it isn't impossible. After that, you get on top of the counter, hook the other end of the wires to the kegs, and then, what do you think happens if you kick the kegs off the counter? The three kegs weighed 165 pounds altogether. Renju weighs five pounds less. Hmm, I guess that would make it possible. But... But there is one more thing. What? Considering the state of the crime scene, it's clear Renju was killed elsewhere and brought to where we found him. If Iris is the culprit, how did she move the body? Hey! I know, I know. You're going to say you couldn't have moved a 160-pound body. Unfortunately for her, she could have. How? You know what this is? It's Renju's favorite watch. This was discovered inside an empty oil drum at Sunfish Pocket. Hey, Date, I know you're on a roll right now, but could you please report things like that according to protocol? What are you trying to say? I'm saying that it wouldn't be so hard to move a body if it were in a cylinder. You would just have to roll it. So you're saying Renju's body was moved inside the drum, which is how the watch came off. But the suspect didn't notice it. I'm not saying anything for sure. Just pointing out that it's possible. I didn't do it! You don't even have any witnesses! If I were rolling an oil drum in the middle of the street, people would have noticed! You could have put it in a car and driven it. I don't have a license! Doesn't mean you can't drive. Even an AI can drive nowadays. Are you mocking me? Don't make sudden outbursts like that. You insulted me! Just be quiet. Um... Who are you talking to? Anyway, Iris, you weigh about 105 pounds, right? W where is this coming from? Only you weighed more. Or less. That is none of your business. No, I mean that your weight is relevant to the case. If the oil drum was used to transport the corpse, then the possibility of the suspect being around 105 pounds is extremely likely. Why do you say that? You are trying to prove that the suspect weighs. Your thinking is correct, but you need. Renju's corpse was discovered hanging from a beam. He was found. The wire was attached. One end was attached to a hook that was embedded inside Renju's jaw. The kegs hold approx- they weigh approximately- Iris, 
On which floor is Sunfish Pocket located? On the second floor. That's right. So, I check the elevator records. Before the corpse was discovered, the elevator only stopped at the second floor once, at 8.55 p.m. And we discovered that the total cargo weight on the elevator was about 310 pounds. Renju weighed 160. The oil drum weighs 44. Together, that's about 205. Subtracting that from 310... This doesn't look good. Why are you... Now, this obviously doesn't prove you're the murderer. A lot of people weigh 105 pounds. Or someone could have put 105 extra pounds in the elevator, sent it up, and taken the stairs to throw us off the trail. However... Date, stop. Iris is acting strange. Don't turn around. Why not? Just stay put. Keep your eyes on the wall. There are several cameras in this room. Two surveillance cameras installed at the corners of the ceiling, and one camera on a tripod. I hacked each to gain access to their recordings. Look at this. She's fidgeting around. Is she doing something under the desk? That's what it looks like. But we need to confirm something before we confront her. We need to know that she's in fact doing something under the desk. Without turning around? Yes. How would I do that? Iris, what are you thinking? What is that thing? Hey, answer me, Iris! She's definitely hiding something, Date. Sync with her. Experiencing reps. Medication is working perfectly. How about it, Date? Think you can do it? Not a problem. Get it started. The time limit is six minutes. So before time is up. I know. Then, let's begin. A double door.
It doesn't open. We don't have to worry about it. A CRT TV. Fixing it by hitting it is an old-fashioned approach. Well, this is an old-fashioned object, so... What was that just now? A child's drawing of a rat. Iris must have drawn it. It is not yet possible to determine that. Let's continue the investigation. There is much to interact with. body mirror. Are you sure I can break this mirror? No, I don't think you have the strength to break it. Then why did you ask me to, pervert? Just punch it, and I'm not a pervert. You see? It won't break. What was the point of that? Full body mirror. Five minutes left, Dante. Iba, what are you doing in a place like this? I'm taking care of Date. He's so troublesome. Oh, I understand. He can't do anything without you, can he? Yeah. Cut it out. Four minutes. A full body. I see my reflection. Really? What could this mean? Your reflection should be the figure I'm thinking of. So, what is your true form? Whatever you imagine. My appearance is nothing but a vessel. So your spirit is your true form. A revolver. Is it real? It appears that way. It's dark. Why not bring your face closer? No, I cannot see anything. Oh, did you say something? I didn't think you'd fall for that. I'm sorry? I'm sorry too. A revolver. It is fixed with a vice and cannot move. Can you loosen it? Impossible. Is there some kind of meaning to it? A revolver. You have less than two minutes, Date. Hurry. I do not see any bullets inside. Just try it. All right, I'll give it a shot. As I thought, this will not work. We need a bullet. I see many objects in the room. The 
explosions appear to have stopped. The explosions made the room change. This is a dangerous dream, but we must continue. An analog... Nothing has happened. You have one minute left. An operating table. The fabric on the surface is frayed. It appears to be in use despite its age. They did surgery here? Surgery or worse. Data, you've got less than 30 seconds. It's an operator. An analog TV. Understood. <laughs> what was that? That was creepy. I nearly pissed my pants. An analog TV. child's drawing. This is a butterfly. Right. I hope this Somnium isn't from when she was a child. Time's up! It appears to be a butterfly... Go fly! It disappeared. Like in quantum mechanics. When you touch a wall, your hand has an almost impossibly small chance of going through. In this Somnium, it appears such phenomena will happen regularly. 
Is Iris familiar with quantum mechanics? I don't believe so. Date, we're out of time. Damn, what the hell is this place? A double... Hi -ya! Hi -ya! Stop that! You're not... A CR... this video it is difficult to believe but these are the faces of the victims of the original cyclops killer what what is going on here iris what are you hiding we should continue there are more objects to inspect now torso with a head if it has a head is it still called the torso what would you call it While I was unconscious, the room changed. I'm tired of this. We have no choice but to investigate. A drug Four bottle minutes. that holds some kind of liquid. Drug bot. There is no label. I cannot determine what is inside. It's probably dangerous. I agree. We should not touch it if we do not know what it is. Even insomnium, some things should not be done. An operating table. body mirror. A full... A torso in the reflection. A torso? Not you? Is there any meaning to this? I can't say. What is going on? Three 
Three minutes, Date. An old... An old tap. That video showed the face of a victim of the original Cyclops killer. It appeared to be the second victim. What is going on? Iris has something to do with the first Cyclops case? Unknown. I do not have enough information. Guess that means we have to investigate more. Indeed. The oil drum, shelf, and another torso have been added. Let's go. Yeah. It's rusted shut. I cannot open it. If you can't, then... It is meant to be closed? I think so. One minute shelf. Left. It will not move. If you can't pull it, only a shelf. That shelf sticking out. It seems odd. ball must have fallen off the shelf. Why would anyone put that there? Date, we're out of time. Damn, what the hell is... An old t three minutes Dante. only a shelf. That shelf sticking out. Where should I throw it? 
throw it that way. Understood. It is unexpectedly light. All right. Uh, yeah! I feel like that ball hit me in the head. Now, a TV and an old book have appeared. I hope this is the last time. It is a thick... This will be easy. It's more brittle than crumbly cheese. Oh, it disappeared. Melted down like a grilled cheese. You have less than two minutes, Dante. Hurry. An old fa- was the third victim of the original Cyclops killer. Why does Iris know that? There is a possibility that she saw it online or on TV. She even reproduced the circumstances of the killing. Would her imagination explain that? Date, we have no direct evidence. For now, we must continue investigating. Right.
What happened in that Somnium? We saw it too. The four murdered women are without a doubt the victims of the original Cyclops serial killings. That means... The murders that occurred six years ago are these memory fragments that coalesced in this Somnium. No. That means the person who killed them was... Help me understand this. What I saw during the sink earlier, that was the scene of the original Cyclops serial killings, right? Yeah. So the person doing the killing was the original Cyclops killer? Right. Did you see him? He was... I saw... your face. The original Cyclops killer was... It can't be. That's impossible. Date, you cannot say that for certain. You have no memories past six years ago. So perhaps, Mr. Date, you are the killer. You're missing your left eye. So you steal them from others. I'm kidding. You can't be the Cyclops killer. Really? Of course not. Do you think I would hire a serial killer? You interrogated Iris before the sink. What you saw in the Somnium was just a manifestation of the fear you put in her. You can't dream of something you know nothing about. That means Iris must know about the killings. Six years ago, Iris was 12. Did she witness the crime at age 12? And not just one, but all four? Hmm... The Cyclops killer appeared six years ago. I lost my memory six years ago. There has to be some kind of connection. There isn't. It's a coincidence. Really? Really. Didn't I tell you? The entire case is a state secret. No matter how many times you ask, I won't tell you anything. The Sinker does not always experience the Somnium they expect. Dreams are pieced together from memories, even repressed subconscious ones. When using the Sink Machine for an investigation, we don't always see the memories we expect to see. True, oftentimes a subject will subconsciously want to express their dark secrets and repressed memories. That is why we see them so often in Somnia. And why those Somnia are so useful for criminal investigations. But, this is not a guarantee. We cannot control the content of our dreams, after all. Remember what the boss said this morning. The original Cyclops killer has yet to be brought to justice. After the investigation got going, it was taken over by the government and classified. That was the last we heard anything about it. Of course, they paid lip service to the idea that the investigation was ongoing, but in reality, it was dropped completely. It's like I told you before. Dreams are pieced together from memories. This can be expressed as dream D equals memory A plus memory B plus memory C. This, of course, means that dream D is a fictional event. However, the same cannot necessarily be said about memory A, B, and C. Those happened in reality. In other words, fiction is built from combinations of reality. So what I saw in Somnium earlier... Yes. I believe Iris actually witnessed those events. Pewter, 
You said that memories happened in reality, right? But what about false memories? How do we know if the memory really happened? Even false memories are built from the pieces of real ones. If you disassemble those pieces, you will find real events. What about things you see in movies or television? The events might be fictional, but the experience is not. Our imaginations are limited to what we have seen. We cannot invent something whole cloth. In the Somnium earlier, I saw someone else who might be the criminal. Who was he? I wouldn't know. I don't believe there's any meaningful connection. Between the original and new Cyclops serial killings, I mean. Why is that? The culprit is not the same. I am absolutely certain the original Cyclops killer could not have committed these crimes. How can you be so sure? Because I can. Don't worry about it. Just trust me. Dante, it looks like Iris is about to wake up. Got it. Hey, Iris. About that dream earlier. Dream? What dream? There is no point in asking her, Date. The subject of a sink does not experience Somnium in the way that you do. They will not remember it. And what about the Cyclops killer? From six years ago. Cyclops killer? I remember hearing it on the news. But I was just a little girl. I don't remember anything specific. You don't? No. What about the scene of the murder? I don't know. I've never been there. But... Dreams are pieced together from memories, even repressed subconscious ones. You can't dream of something you know nothing about. Date, could you take Iris home? Huh? We do not have enough evidence to hold her. Even in Somnium, we couldn't find anything. The law demands that we release her. You cannot decline, Date. Could we make a stop first? Sure. Where? Marble. It's a bar in Golden Yokocho. You know about that place? Yeah. Mr. Okiura took me before. Why do you want to go there? There's something I want to talk about. We can't talk here? It might take a while. What do you think? There's no reason to refuse. Besides, there's a lot I want to ask her, too. All right, sure. Oh, Ota! Oh, she left a little while ago. She said something about going to help an acquaintance. She told me to watch the place until she got back. How well do you know Mama? Not at all. It's my first time here.
No, this is my new one. You're thinking of the one I dropped in that puddle. I was niling with Tessa earlier. She said she was going to marble, so... I got here just before you did. Look, I was really worried about her. She was about to be charged with a serious crime. This actually works out nicely. I want to ask you something, Ota. It's about a Nile message you sent Iris. You said you wouldn't tell anyone about that thing. That you'd stay quiet no matter what. What were you talking about? Well, uh... I'll tell her about the two witter thing. I swear I'll do it. Geez, fine. Just don't tell anyone else, okay? But before I tell you, who's that? What? At the door. Someone's standing outside. Where am I? It looks like you're awake now. Ota? The boy I asked to watch the bar? I'd say he's too old to be called a boy, but yeah. He was already gone when I came back. All I saw was you getting your beauty sleep on the floor. Damn it, Ota. What are you thinking? It appears that he took off with Iris. What were you doing during all this? My power was shut down due to the stun gun. I have rebooted in safe mode and am now operational. It'll be three o'clock soon. In the morning, of course. I tried. You wouldn't budge. I thought you were passed out drunk, so I left you like that. But I didn't have a glass in front of me, right? So you weren't drunk? Didn't have a single drop. Oh, I thought you were drinking straight out of the bottle. Just like the old days. Date, the boss is calling. Oh, how am I gonna report this one? Date, listen. Stay calm, but this is an emergency. Just now, the killer... Well, just watch the video. I sent the address to Iba. Iris. No, that's... The criminal is streaming this live. Iba, the source. Identify. The Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse, Koto District. Okiura? Date, focus. We need to get to the site, now. What's our ETA? Our destination is far from here. 20 minutes at the fastest. Please. 
Please, please let me make it in time. No. Stop! There you are, finally. I was looking all over for you. 